welcome to episode 6 of the Hearts Career Mode here on FIFA 19. We're in the transfer deadline and um, we're only going to be playing one game today unfortunately due to me not having many minutes left at all in this EA access. I think I've only got about 25 so we'll actually need to be quick and get through this and then play the, this big match against Dundee. Speaking of Dundee, I'm going to go and try and sign Craig White for Dundee. We've got him in real life but unfortunately FIFA hadn't sorted that shit out. And I did say that I wasn't going to sign anybody, but I wouldn't really count me signing Craig White as a signing because he should be in the squad, but unfortunately he's not. So I'm going to go ahead and sign him. I've no idea what rating he is, so I don't really know what we should be you know, paying for the guy. Uh, release clause is 540. I don't really know if I want to go that much. We will we'll put his contract expired in 11 months. There's no way I'm going that much. Uh, what we'll do is I think I'll put in like a 300 grand bid or something. And then... We will see, we'll, um, I don't know, see if, we'll start at 300, we'll start at 300 and we'll, we won't, we'll say we won't go higher than 5, and I mean, to me that's fair, if they don't accept, I mean, that, then it's, it's fucking, they're being unreasonable, um, but don't, don't think that you shouldn't leave your comments down below, I will plan on signing guys, I just, you know, I've already explained, I don't think that we need to sign anybody just due to the amount of money, uh, due to the amount of money that, no, fuck, why do I keep saying money? Due to the amount of players that Craig Lutheran's bought in, I feel like we've already got a brand new squad. So Craig White and have accepted the deal for 300k. Maybe I've overpaid, who knows? In terms of the wage, what's he on at Dundee? We don't know. We don't know. Um, I say we'll start the wage at... We'll start the wage at two grand, but we won't go higher than five. I think he'll accept two grand. I mean, two grand is a lot of money, especially for Craig White and... It'd be great if we can stay, transfer Craig White away from Dundee and then smash Dundee in the next game. We need to smash Dundee because we're yet to pick up a win, so hopefully we can take our frustrations out on them. And it's been accepted, a two grand a week deal. Maybe I've overpaid for him, who knows, but we'll just get him in. And that's Craig White, the newest member of the Hearts team. Happy fucking days. And I'm going to go ahead now and skip the rest of the transfer window because I have no intentions of making any more signings. Interestingly though, Celtic have got rid of Forrest and Tierney and only get 19.5 between them so not a lot of money there and Celtic probably will be considerably weaker heading into this new season. The final hour we've just received an offer for John Souter, 2.8 million and they can go and jump off the biggest cliff in Scotland because there's no way that uh, we're going to be selling him for that amount. So that's it guys, transfer window over. And I'm uh, happy enough with that. We're 11th in the league. I'm not happy with that. Let's go and beat Dundee and um, pick up our first three points of the season. And team in the league, man. That's just not going to do. We need to sort that shit out. 12, man. Really? Two goals? There is the Dundee team. And you know what I mean? For a team that's actually shite in real life, they've got no, no bad players. But uh, former Hearts goalkeeper Jack Haldon in next. Got Musa up front. Kamara in there at the CDM position. Decent centre back partnership with Calker and Josh Meekins. Probably should be doing better than they actually are. As for the team, we're going to be going with you know basically a familiar lineup. Got Harry Cochrane in there, uh, in the partnership of midfield with Haring, and I've decided to give Craig White a place on the bench and see if he can deliver against his former club. Yeah, Smith dropping deep to win that, and he did well. He plays through Michael Smith, who has a man got out wide. He's looking for Uchi. Uchi. Oh, what was? What, oh my god, what was that? I've actually, I think I've hit the wrong button there, I mean, wasn't it? What I actually did, I wanted Uchi to header it to the guy first time and he would have been onside. But I didn't expect the Dundee guy to fall on his ass. If I knew he was going to fall on his ass, I would have just controlled it with Uchi and banged it in. Fuck. Oh no, what have we done? Oh, great challenge for Christoph Berra. Fan-fucking-tastic, deserves a lot higher rating than he's actually got in this game. I think he's already went down to a 73, having started at 74. Disgraceful. Fuck you, EA, for uh, Robin. You know I mean, the bit, probably the best centre back in the Scottish Premiership of a higher rating. It's through to McGowan. Kamara, we're in trouble here. It's another great challenge for Christoph Berra. Well, it's not Christoph Berra, I think it was, I think it was Quarry Cochrane, but it was a great challenge nonetheless, whoever it was for. Mitchell, Cochrane. Plays in Haring, who takes a shot and it's deflected. Dundee dropping deep here. 
playing well, but very defensive for them. Negative as fuck, especially being at home. The Manco gets past his man. It's in towards Uchi. What a goal that would have been. Uchi. I think Capese with the overhead kick, man. Trying to go for wonder goal. Trying to go for goal of the season. The fucking sixth episode. And he almost got it, man. Gave uh, Jack Hamilton no chance with that. But unfortunately, just wide. Oh no, it's through to Musa. Musa could be through. He takes a shot. Oh, it's off the bar. I thought it was going to dip in. I was wondering why Slamal wasn't even responding. Maybe he thought it was going over. Almost went over his head into the back of the net, right? McGowan with his corner, his head all the way. Could fall to Naismith. Oh, what a ball right through to Naismith. Naismith now playing out Danny Amankwa. The chance is on here, the attack could be happening. Amankwa goes past his man, cuts back, gets a cross in towards Mulraney. And his. I don't know, I'm not even going to call that a shot, man. His abomination in the box has uh, put the, brought the first half to an end. What the fuck was that? Obviously, it cost me a shot and an attempt at goal. It was uh, something else for this world that we haven't discovered yet. Um, anyway, Celtic 1, Rangers 0. Hibs are actually winning a game for a change. They're beating Aberdeen and Mullerwell are beating St. Johnson. So that just means more pressure on us to actually get something out of this game. Uh, in terms of that, we have been the better team. Well, we've dominated possession. I mean, we've both had chances, but... Only one shot found the target, and it was that bad, I can't even remember what it was. So, I mean, it obviously wasn't troubling us that much. Hopefully, though, we can find Stevie Naismith now running through. Got three men up with him for support. Who's he going to find? He's looking for Uchi. He finds Uchi, and this could be his first goal of the season with the Nice. Oh, my God. Just able to kick out. Little twisted slice and Sasha able to kick out, Corey. A look, a look of disbelief. Now that... Get fucking Craig White, you know that guy is at Uchi's absolute pish, man. Right, Haring, come on. Back to Cochrane, out wide to Stevie Naismith. And that's another fucking team effort, what are we doing? Andy gets past his man, Berra slides in, it's a poor cross. Don't cause us any problems, but we've lost the ball, it's causing us problems now. And they're fucking scored, so undeserved, Dundee take the lead. Golfy McGowan. Ah, fuck, I'm going to bring Shumi on for uh, for Cocker, but I can't believe that, man, after the chances we've had and now we're getting beat. Fucking fucking, we need to bring Messi on at this rate to get a goal. Just no happening. Is Naismith looking for the run. Mulraney cuts inside. Oh, fuck's sake. I think comes in that. Through to Mendy now. Puts it into the box. Off the bar. Oh my god! It was offside in the end there, but it could have been 2 0. He's coming forward. Can he find Naismith? If he can, it is through to Mulraney. Oh my god! Chance after fucking chance, and we can't score, man. Oh, it's like the equivalent of a girl coming off to your house, sleeping in fucking bed naked. For a week and you decide to lay in the couch like a fanny. That's what we're doing here. No taking advantage of a great opportunity. In this case, fucking three great opportunities. Absolute pish. No happy with it, man. Nine minutes to go and it looks like... I uh, know, it looks like we're going to make a sub. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck it, right. Craig White, coming on. Out she going off. Have to uh, last throw the dice here. I'm Anqua. To Naismith. It's Stevie Naismith. Oh my god, <laughs> what are we doing? This kind of <laughs> fucking score right Mulraney with the corner. Naismith, yes! That's what I'm talking about. Finally, he gets the goal. Stevie Naismith, he scores when he wants. Apart from the 400 times in this match when he wanted to score. But finally, he gets the goal. Gets his level. Six minutes to go. Can we try and rescue the winner? There you go. Lovely corner coming in. Stephen A. Smith rises above the rest. And smashes it in with the head. Right, come on. Fantastic for Berra there. And now we'll look to attack. And it's a poor pass. Berra would be doing great defensively. But you should not come out your own half, man. You're fucking shite coming forward. And now it's a chance here for Dundee. It's Magadengi. He's crossed it in looking for somebody back post. And Mendy there, I think it may have took a deflection. A dead game, no doubt. 
play to Mendy. Well, completely took him out. Referees decided to get no way. That's a piss take, man. That's a fucking piss take. There was, I mean, he's played an extra 36 seconds. What's he playing at? I intentionally gave away the foul, and the referee decided, no, look, you've killed that guy, but that's actually not a foul, so I'm just going to play on, you know what I mean? Fucking manslaughter on the pitch, but nah, mate, we'll just forget it didn't happen. We'll turn a blind eye, and uh, we'll let Dundee take the win. Fucking jokes, so I'll die then at the way of it. What a knob. Right, I mean, I mean, on another day, I mean, it says they've had eight shots, but really, their shots were shite, if we're being honest, they're all comfortable saves. Whereas we really did have, you know, chances which we should have scored. I mean, we would three really good chances where we should have at least scored two of them, you know what I mean? So I, I don't know, man. It's it's tough to take, yes, but we'll, we'll all improve, you know what I mean? I know we're going, to, we're going to start winning and moving up the table. It's just a matter of time. Naismith getting the man of the match an 8.9 rating. Personally, 2-1. Hibs beat Aberdeen 2-0. And Mullerwell, I think, beat St. Johnston there. Wasn't really checking. And uh, I didn't... Johnston... Which I think it will, then we'll play them. So St. Johnson, two points above us in the table. We need to try and beat them, move above them. And I hope to see we're at the main screen. And that means one thing. EA have cut us short on the EA early access. I thought they would have let us finish the game, to be honest. Which is a shame. Not only the fact we didn't get to finish the game, but the fact that this happened. Ready then, why not? 32 minutes gone. There's no point waiting any longer. Four people up front. Uh, uh, let's go for this. It's better. Win opportunity. Strike. Oh, oh what a goal! Fucking Christoph Berra. I say they shouldn't come out his own half. He can do whatever fucking wants. What a goal that is. We've just unlocked an achievement during open play. Score a long distance goal for over 20. Fucking hell, man. Christoph Berra, obviously not happy with this shite start to the season. He's like, I'm taking the air this. Fucking William Wallace freedom style. Boom, top corner. No chance for the keeper. Pick it out. It is, well, I was going to say it's Scotland 1, France 0. No, it's not quite, guys, but it's St. Johnston 2. Scotland 1. You can see Christoph Berra having that great moment. The greatest moment of his life. That wonder goal taken away from him. But what can you do, guys? The 10 hours is up. And that's going to do it, guys, for episode 6. Unfortunately, it's a bad way to end the episode, losing to Dundee and you know, having that great goal taken away from us. But what can we do? We'll be back next time, episode 7, on Tuesday, when FIFA is out and hopefully picking up some wins and moving up the league table, guys. But that's going to do it. Until next time, peace.